Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fat Burner, Smart About Supplements here, and today I'm answering the question, is it necessary to have whey protein after a workout? I'll have the answer in just a couple of seconds. Stick around, please don't go anywhere. Hey, welcome back and thanks so much for sticking around. So, if you've been working out for any more than two weeks, I can pretty much guarantee that you've heard you should have a whey protein shake after a workout, perhaps one that is mixed with simple carbohydrates, or you can take your gains and you can flush them right down the toilet. The argument for the post-workout shake kind of goes like this. After a really intense workout, your muscle fibers are damaged and beat up and in need of repair. Your glycogen stores, and glycogen is the carbohydrate source your body uses for energy, are completely depleted and also need to be topped up. By consuming a combination of high quality protein and simple carbs after your workout, you top up your glycogen stores as well as providing the raw material necessary for the repairing and building of new muscle. Now, this all sounds pretty reasonable, doesn't it? I thought so too, and I took a post-workout shake for years until one day it dawned on me that I'd never actually seen any clinical data or scientific studies that supported the argument of a post-workout shake. So I decided to go looking for the science that supported it. And what I found was pretty surprising. The science supporting the post-workout meal or shake is actually far from conclusive. Now this is the conclusion of a very thorough paper published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition. The paper is called Nutrient Timing Revisited, Is There a Post-Exercise Anabolic Window? Now if you're interested in checking this out for yourself, you can find a link to the paper under the YouTube video. Now the goal of this paper was to review the existing studies on the effects of nutrient timing on post-workout muscular adaptions and make nutritional recommendations as a result of what they found. In other words, they reviewed studies that had people consuming post-workout meals and shakes to see how much difference it actually made. So what did the study authors find? Well, they found seven things. Number one, some studies found a slight benefit from post-workout nutrition, while others found none at all. Number two, some studies suggest there may be more benefit in consuming a pre-workout meal than a post-workout meal. Number three, current evidence doesn't support the argument that consuming a post-workout shake raises muscle protein synthesis. Number four, there's no difference between consuming carbohydrates immediately after your workout compared to consuming them several hours later. Restoring glycogen stores immediately is only really a concern for elite athletes who are training the same muscle groups within a few hour window. Number five, people who train while fasting are the exception. A post-workout shake or meal is very important for these people. Number six, some studies were performed on non-trained individuals and people who don't normally exercise, which calls their results into question as they may not be the same for highly trained individuals. And number seven, some study findings have been disputed based on flawed methodology, or in other words, the study itself was so poorly designed and executed that its results are called into question. Now I realize after hearing all this, you may be throwing up your hands and saying, you know what, Paul, enough already, just give me the bottom line here, I really don't care about all this stuff. And you know what, I get it, so let me do that. The answer to the question, do I need to have whey protein after a workout to get results, is no, absolutely not, unless you train fasted, or you're a pro athlete who's gonna train the same muscle group again within a few hours. I know it's hard to believe, but the world is not going to come to an end if you don't have a post-workout meal a shake, and your time in the gym will not have been wasted. That's what the science says, and believe me, I was as surprised as you. Now having said that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having a post-workout meal or shake if you want. It's just not critical to your success as you've been led to believe. All right guys, there you have it. The answer to, is it necessary to have whey protein after a workout? If you like this video, a thumbs up or a share would be awesome. If you hated it, thumb it down. I wanna know what you think, good or bad. If you have a comment or a question, please leave it in the comments below. And if you wanna be updated whenever we post new videos, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you really soon.